Hello, hi everyone. Thank you for coming to join me today. Um, in my last video, I was starting the um, journal that I'm making using the Time, time of Mushrooms from Clear, Clear Black Creations. Um, and I've come back to show you what I decided to do and how far I've got and um, perhaps do a little bit of crafting with you on this journal. So um, if you remember, if you've watched the video, if not, um, it's the one previous to this. Um, I've made, I'm making this out of... Um, tea dyed and coffee dyed calico that I've put it in some coffee and some tea and I've sprayed it with some um, brown ink as well and it gave it some lovely markings on it um, and what I've done to the I've actually made the cover so if we just take the insides out I ended up backing this um, doily that I've got the square doily with some fabric that you can see through there because I realized that when I tried to put something in it all these little holes the tags got caught in it so I ended up doing that I didn't put the um, flower trim down because it just looked it didn't look right when I put it was putting it together so I've used this um, like crochet trim instead and then I used that that I'd said I was going to use um, to cover the spine and I've attached a button, to a button there, and I've, I've attached a button here, vintage button. Um, got something stuck on it. It is an old button. Um, and I've attached some, um, what do you call this? Sari silk, that's what you call it, on there as well. Um, and I've left that open because I've made it as a, oops, a daisy. I've made left it as a pocket um, and I've made a tag to go in there. And these are all, these um, are Brigida's grungy tea bags and I think that's either the insect tags or the summer tags summer labels um, and her um, different papers that I've used I'll, I'll list them all below what I'm using but you, you know you can use whatever papers you want to so that goes in there as a kind of pocket and as you can see it's got some firmness to it now because I've put journaling cards in so this is actually um, a vintage piece of paper it was out of a dictionary so I've backed that and I've put a little charm on there and I've done some sari silk on it. So that goes in the front pocket. And then the two pockets at the top, I've done journaling cards as well. And just done some little collaging on Brigida's lovely papers. So there's one goes in the front top pocket and there's one that goes in the back pocket as well. So that made the um, cover and it's quite sturdy now it doesn't flop about it would if you took those those out um, I've put pockets on the inside so I've used some as quite fine delicate vintage lace there so you could put something up there if you wanted to but I've, I've left it and I've used a piece of the same fabric that I've used behind there as well so that was the cover and then what I've decided to do I wanted to use the bags paper bags but I also wanted to use the the um, kit pages from the time of mushrooms so I've kind of done a mix of them this is a piece of vintage wallpaper that my friend Britta gifted to me and I love it um, I didn't want to use it but what's the point of having it if you're not going to use it so thank you Britta that's my first piece used so there's going to be a pocket there I've put the doily there for now so I've kind of done a couple of pages that can be journaled on and then I've done um, a pocket. So this pocket I've decorated. So I've put it onto the bag and there's a, a journal card there that opens up. So it's like a double journaling card. Put a tag on that and then that just flips shut like that. And it's got some fabric as a tab. Um, I put some of the flower trim down on there. And then the back of that will have to get, you know, I'll do put something on there as well. Because I didn't, I wanted to use these um, bags as pages and not necessarily as a bag um, so there's another one there and I think I might use that one as a as a bag I've put some lace on it so you can see it's got some nice lace trim on it a couple of bags here and the kit pages so I've done a couple of journaling pages and a and a bag a couple of journaling pages and a bag <laughs> so that's a nice crinkly one couple of bags just there and then I, I put together a couple of the CD um, cases that Amy from Crafty Cat USA has and I've hinged them together I've actually printed them out smaller because otherwise they wouldn't have fit 
um, in this journal that have been too big. So they are actually um, envelopes and they've got journaling cards in. And then that one opens that way as well. And that's got a journaling card in. So the, I wanted to use actual CD um, um, cases, but they were just too big for this journal because it's it's turned out, I think it's about uh, seven inches tall and about five and a quarter, five and a quarter that way. So about ten and a half total. So I've decorated these with some mushrooms and some um, threads. And then that one's the same as well. Look, um, and there's some more writing paper and I've put the seed envelopes that I had and I've joined them together as well. And I've joined them together so that the flaps are on the outside so that it makes it easy to have them. And then I'll put some sort of closure on there. And then in the middle, we've got the time card and this bag. And that's going to have a, it's going to be a tuck spot, I think. And that might be an envelope. I'm, I'm undecided. So I thought what I'd do today is I need to make some things to go in this. And I'm just going to work my way through it, I think, um, and see what you think. So I need a couple of po a couple of pockets to go in these tags. I need a couple of tags to go into these pockets. So let's start there. Um, what I thought I would do on those is I've got some um, book pages from a mushroom book. And I've cut them down so that they will fit in the pockets. And I thought I would hinge them together and have them in the very front pockets. Or I might put them in the other. I'm going to make them and see where they fit best. How about that? So this I've kept all of the scraps of paper that I've cut um, when I've been cutting down these page these papers. And I'm going to use these to hinge these um book pages together so you probably know how to hinge um, book pages and I'm probably teaching you or showing you how to suck eggs but I I know that I have got some new new um, journalists here people that are new to journal making and I just wanted to bring you along with my process because I guess we all do things slightly differently and somewhere I've got some glue um yeah so let's get cracking I don't, I'm only gluing, I'm just putting me, me sticky glue on these. Oh, not very well, I have to say. So I think these pieces of paper that I'm using for a hinge, I think they were about just over half an inch. Um, to be honest, I'm just using the scraps that I've got. So I wasn't really measuring what I had. So I folded it, I folded this piece of paper in half. And then I am literally just attaching the book page to it. I want to just pull it back slightly so that you can see the words before it glues itself shut. There we go. And then I'll do the same on this other side. This glue does set quite quickly, I have to say. Come on, Carol, what are you playing at? I always feel when I turn the video on, I always feel to start when I start a video that I'm all fingers and thumbs and just can't get going. So patience is a virtue, isn't it? Apparently. Can't even pick the paper up. So if I put that on there to match that one, and just fold that over. That should give us a nice hinged. <sighs> Typical, I've done it kind of wonky, haven't I? Not going to lay flat. Yeah, I've just got more of a gap there than there, haven't I? Careful, careful. I think my paper's wonky to start with, isn't it? That's a good start to a video, isn't it? Wonky, wonky. Do 
You know what's throwing me? I think it's because this piece of paper has lines on it and I think that's kind of throwing me a little bit because the lines aren't straight. That's okay, let's stick it down again. Everything's fine and dandy. So I hope it's okay where you are today. Um, here in the UK, um, I'm recording this on a Monday and it, it's a beautiful day outside. I've been out and raked some leaves in the garden. Not a favourite job, I know, but it has to be done, doesn't it, sometimes? Taking the dog across the fields. It's been a beautiful, beautiful day. It's because that, that line, can you see? I don't know if you can see, there's a line. You probably can't. There's a line on the paper that's wonky and it's just throwing my eye, making me think it's all wonky. So that will go... Where will it go? Either... It won't go there. I've probably made it too big now, look. No, it goes in there, look. That was it. I was going to put them in that one. Um, and I might attach some paper in there that you can journal on. I don't know. So I'm just going to tuck that in there for now, just to remind myself that that's where that's going. And then we're going to do this one. Now, this one, um, I've cut it down. But the, the edge has got lots of glue on it from the book that it was attached into. So I'm just going to cut that, those two papers a bit shorter so that they're separate. I mean, if, if it fit nicely, you wouldn't have to join the two pieces of paper together, would you? But because they've got all the glue on it, it makes them really too big. Yep, that's fine. I'll join them with this other piece. Just cut that to start with. Sorry, I feel I've started this video on a kind of disjointed theme because um, my little bit of my hinge didn't work quite as well as I wanted it to, did it? Never mind. Back on track now. This bit of glue there. And I'm going to put a bit of glue on the end there. I might actually sew down this hinge. I'm, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. That feels like it went on better. Probably had a better fold on that one. And a bit of glue on this one. Um, that's going to go... That's going to be the back. Just line those book pages up again. So that they're about right. And close the hinge. There we go. There we go. That worked better, didn't it? You get in the swing of it once you've started, I think, don't you? There we go. And then that will go in the other pocket. So... I've got two little tuck, two little, these aren't going to be journal cards. They will, I, I think I might, I'm going to think how I can attach some paper to it without hiding the, the pretty pictures on it. So that's those two. Um, and I want some pockets, some pockets to go in the tags, some tags to go in the very front pockets. So I did a little bit of thinking before you joined me, which I know can be dangerous. Um... Oh, gosh, I've got all sorts of little bits of threads. These are uh, Brigida's. And I did have two of these. I've lost one. Oh, no, look, I've got two. Ta-da! <laughs> stuck together. These are Brigida's um, grungy tea bags. And I really like them. And I think they kind of go with what I'm trying to do in this journal. I'm not very good at doing grunge. It, it kind of always ends up being non-grunge when I do it. So... This is just my attempt at it. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some of her um, papers from the past. Is it past days? I wrote it down on a piece of paper. I don't know where I wrote it down. I will put the link so that you can see. I just want to add a few little bits of paper. Mm, I want something a bit more than just that little bit, I think. Um Which one was it? 
I'm trying to use up the scraps that I end up with because um, otherwise you end up with so many little bits of paper, don't you? But I don't want much to go on this tag because I don't want it to cover up the grunge. So I just want something to go kind of on there. Let me to cut the bottom off. be all right let's get rid of those little bits of white and where I tore the paper and I want I don't want to glue it all on so I'm just gonna oops sorry folks I've probably just given you a headache just gonna cut that paper down a little bit let me just lift the camera that's why I've just banged you because it's very there we go it was very close to me so I'm just I only wanted a little bit of this colored paper on just to put the mushrooms against just to make them stand out so I just want to put a little bit of this on I love these papers so that can go in my bit box to be used again and I've got these Um, and a tag label that I've got in my stash. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Happy, happy, happy. I've just gone through all, all of my stash looking for um, all my fussy cuts, looking for what I've got of mushrooms. That I've sat and cut out a while ago. And I don't know where I got these black and white ones from, but I do quite like them. So I'm going to put those on there. I suppose really you could print any um, kit. I don't think these were a kit. I think they were a freebie from the, I want to say from the New York Public Library, but who knows. Um, you could print any kit, couldn't you, in black and white and do it grayscale. Um, that would be different, wouldn't it? that on there sorry I was just concentrating a moment and I didn't want to cover up all these lovely markings that are on and I'm hoping I, I want the cards the journaling cards to be quite sturdy that's not going to fit on there is it I bet that's glued it is I'm trying to use up bits of book page my glue book pages there we are that one's open nicely so I'm going to back that with the glue with the book page and then I will um, when I've made a few tags I'll just cover them on the back with the, some of the papers so that they can be used as writing journal cards that's the word isn't it so that's on there cut it out just so that you can kind of see what I've done they hide against the book page, I think, don't they? So what are you all up to? Are you still doing or have you started doing your Christmas journals? I think I said last time that I was with you that I've I've kind of um, Christmased myself out a little bit. Um, and we are still in autumn, really, aren't we? I'm happy with that. And I'm thinking that that could kind of go in that pocket there with some something on it. I like that one. Try and keep my book out of the way because I don't want it to get all grunged and glued. Um, and then this one, I want to keep that at the top because I like that. I know these aren't, I don't know if um, fungus is botanical or not, but for, for the purposes of this journal, they are going to be. I didn't have a label that said fungus. <laughs> if I've got one actually I did look I didn't have one that can go there and then I'm going to put these mushrooms on there and again these are um, just some fussy cuts that I've had 
It sounds like there's a dog not very happy outside. I don't know if you can hear it. Move it in a little bit because I'm going to stitch around these. I didn't really want to stitch me mushrooms. And then I was thinking I might put... I'm going to slip that a bit because I want that to go, this little label that's stuck to my finger, I just want that to go underneath those mushrooms. Just so I'm layering them up a little bit. I don't know why I want to, but I do. Yep, I'm happy with that one. So let's see if I've got another... Oh, I've just got this book page I ripped off. Let me use that. Once they get too sticky, these book pages, I, I use them to back my tags. It just makes them that little bit stronger. And then, as I say, I will back these with some paper that you can journal on as well. Get that one cut out. I think these um, grungy tea bag prints of Brigida's, I don't know if I've got any printed out or if I've used them all. I've been using them like mad. I really like them. I've got all my papers clipped together. Oh, they're here. So you can see she's got some fantastic patterns on them. Beautiful patterns and lovely colours. Really kind of autumn-y. Different greens, they go. I think they'd go with so many different things. So that's that's what I've used as the background for my tags because I just thought it they added <laughs> a lot of interest. Oh, and now my tags stuck to the back of that. So that's those two. So I'm going to let those two dry, but they're going to fit as well. So I need to put them somewhere they're not going to stick to everything. Um, let me just take it out so. Where have I got to? I've done tags for the front, for the cover. I've done a tag. These aren't going to go in, but they, they could. Tags for there. So that's one, two. So I've done those. I did try to glue something on here, but it wasn't having it. I tried all sorts of glue and it wasn't having any of it. So if I just look at where we're at next, I'm leaving these pages blank because I want them to be able to be journaled in. I want to put something on here as a, a kind of a flip so that you can see it's a flip is what I mean. Um, this is one of the tags um, and it's got Brigida's tags have a shape to them and I'm not very good at cutting those shapes out. No, I can't see them. I don't know what I've done with them, but they have like um, a scalloped top and I'm I'm terrible at cutting those out. So I've just cut the top off that and I've inked, inked around it. And I thought it would be nice to carry on the theme if we had just a little bit of grunge on there. So when I tear fabric, I tend to keep all the little threads and you'll think I'm very sad because I've got a box full of little threads, different colours that I can just pick out. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go and stitch this and I'll be straight back. Okay, so the bits of cotton thread, I've just stitched across it, look, there. You don't have to, if you, you know, you can glue it if you want to. And I think that's just going to go on there as a, as a flip out. So let me take that page out so I can see what I'm doing. I think I want that to go on there just so that I can have it as a flip out. Yeah, so I am going to put some glue on there. Well over those stitches. And then it just shows you that that's going to be a flip out there, doesn't it? Maybe some of that, haven't I? I think I might just cover that seam with 
some of this paper. Yeah. Just tear that end bit. Gosh, a golly, but my fingers are sticky. Yeah, I'm just going to put that on there. Just get rid of that little white bit. More sticky fingers. And I'm just going to put that on there. And I'm not going to put this back in the book at the minute because it is quite sticky. And if I close it too, I suppose I could have it flapped open, couldn't I? No, that page is not quite level, is it? Sometimes my folding leaves a lot to be desired, I think. Just cut that little bit. Oops. A knife fell on the floor. There we go, just level that up. And so that will go back in there. That looks nice. Do you like it? What do you think? Yeah. And it's just got a little bit of texture on there with that, hasn't it? Um, and where have we got to? Then there's we've got that one there. And I need to do something on the back of this. So let's take that page out. And I think this is the way I'm just going to do it. I'm going to just work my way through and just make different things to go. Um, I think I want this to be a writing space, maybe. Um, that's what I'm thinking. I'm just looking in my little box of bits if there's anything that I could use. How about these? Um, this is again one of the um, tea bag papers. I've just ripped round this one um, so it's not level because obviously when Brigida's taken the tea bags apart, I wonder if that'll fit there. Oh, that fits, doesn't it? Well, that's a bit bigger. I've got my crease down there, so I don't want to go too close to the crease. But I want something that can be a writing space. So I think I think I might do this. Rip the bottom off that. Let's get rid of these white edges again. Oh, and I'm cutting down on time, aren't I? You're going to be with me a little bit more than half an hour. Sorry, folks. I feel like I've not done an awful lot with you. So I'm going to put that on there and I'm going to put that on there. And it's going to cover, I might do it inside that stitch line. And I think I want something on there. What have I got? I've got one of these um, circles that come with the kit. Yeah, I quite like that there. Maybe some threads. That's quite nice as well, isn't it? So I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to put this together and then I'll come back and show you what it looks like. Bear with me. OK, so I don't know if you can see what I've done. This um, circle that came with the kit, I've put some threads and fibres behind it and then I've stitched round it and then I've stitched all the way around that paper. Can you see that? And I'm just going to stick that on there. Um, as my last piece with you and then I'll I'll love you and leave you and I'll come back and show you what else I'm doing um, with the rest of it. I'm going to leave the threads and I'm not going to leave that thread because that's going to be annoying. We don't want that one. So I'm going to glue stick in the middle. Sorry if I'm bumping you. Try and glue stick over the stitches but the actual very edges I'm going to try and get with my Glue glue. All the way to the edge. I know it's not nice seeing people gluing, is it? 
you're getting it warts and all today, folks. Because we don't want it coming off, do we? At all, at all. Okay. And then that is going to go on there like that. And I'll leave it to dry and then when, when it's once it is dried, I will double check um, that it's sticked down around the edges. I think it is. I think it is in the middle as well. Just give it a good stick in. Okay, and I think because I've torn it around the shape that Brigida had had her tea bag, it actually looks like a tea bag. So there we go. That's my first few pages. Um I'll carry on a little bit and I'll come back and show you where I'm at and perhaps do a little bit more with you. Thank you for putting up with me. Take care, folks. Bye.